today we'll be looking at bone breaking in organic chemistry. Remember this. During a chemical reaction or before a chemical reaction can take place, the reactants which are involved in the reaction must first of all undergo what we call bond cleavage or you call it bond breaking. For instance, if I have a reactant such as AB, assuming this is a compound just like HCl, just like HCl, if AB is my reactant and combined with CK, I have AB and CK as my reactants. Before AB can be able to react with CK, the bond between A and B in AB here, the bond between them must be broken. A and B must be set free on their own. C and K must be set free. The bond between C and K should also be broken. Then, by the time this bond and the one here, by the time they are broken, if A and B, if the bond between them breaks, you have A plus B set aside. If this one breaks, you will have C and K set aside. Now, the A, which is free, can now react with the appropriate portion of C and K. What I'm trying to say is this. Before a chemical reaction takes place, the bond between the reactants must be broken. And there are two ways bonds are broken in chemistry generally. Those two ways are the sections we are going to look into in this class. Now, in chemistry generally, there are two ways chemical bonds are broken. And what is this thing you call a bond? A bond is formed using two electrons. For instance, if I have A and B coming together, for instance, assuming they are going to combine covalently, which means sharing of the electrons, A here will donate one electron, B will also donate one electron. These two electrons here, one from A, one from B, when they come together, you have something like this. Those two electrons are placed in between the two atoms, which you can actually write like this. This line simply means the bond between A and B. This is the bond we are talking about. This is the bond between A and B. Now, this bond is formed using two electrons. Organic compounds undergo covalent bonding. Now, in covalent bonding, it is all about this atom brings electron, the other atom brings the two will now share. Now, the electron being shared, which we are donated by the two atoms, is used to form this bond. This simply means that every single bond you see in chemistry represents two electrons. Which means if I have a substance like this, A, B, C, the number of the total number of electrons in this case now are this bond here represents two electrons, this bond here represents two electrons. That means a single bond represents two electrons. Double bonds represent four electrons. Don't forget. That is, before a chemical reaction takes place, we try to break this bond between A and B. For this bond to be broken, two ways are involved. It is either they break in a way that A will take the two electrons after breaking up, while B takes nothing. Or it can also be A taking one of the electrons and B takes the other one. So these two ways of bond breaking are known as homolytic bond breaking or cleavage and heterolytic bond breaking. Remember I said the first type of bond breaking is what we call the homolytic bond breaking. 
and the heterolytic bond breaking. Remember, if you don't call it homolytic bond breaking, you can call it homolytic fission. Fission means to break up. Homolytic fission and heterolytic fission. These are the two methods of bond breaking in organic chemistry. Now, in the next video, we are going to explain each of these methods of bond breaking one after the other. Click the next video to see what we mean by homolytic and heterolytic fission. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you.